All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green, GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. It's this little RTA right here. This was designed by Vapen Vic out of the UK. This is the Saver RTA. It is designed to be a mouth to lung RTA as well as a restricted lung hit RTA. I've used it in both and I genuinely kind of like the restricted lung hit of this RTA much, much better. And that's not to say that the mouth to lung on this RTA isn't also pretty stellar. I just prefer the restricted lung hit of this RTA. But in order to get to know this whole thing just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. That's right. Quick short up closey time. Now go. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the Saver Mouth to Lung RTA. First things first, it's a 510 drip tip on top. It's 22 millimeters diameter. It's got this really great threaded top fill system, real easy to take off. You have two big kidney-shaped juice fill holes there and a big O-ring along the top, which this just seats right down into. I've never had any leaking or anything like that filling this great top fill system. Uh, two mil capacity as well as an adjustable adjustable airflow on the bottom that stops in the closed position and stops in the fully open position and kind of just, you know, you can put it sl slightly, you know, wherever you want. You want two holes? There you go. Two holes. You want to knock this down to one hole? There you go. One hole. This doesn't glide very smoothly, but it's not rough. It's just, you know, snug. This will stay wherever you want to put it. There's no clicking or anything like that, but like I said, it'll stay wherever you want to put it. Like a lot of other RTAs, I just rock this one full open because I like that restricted lung hit from this tank. Almost more than I like the mouth to lung from this tank. But we'll get there in a second. Let's pull out the deck and take a look at it. And the rest of this tank is all one piece. Your glass can come off and then this is all one piece, obviously with the exception of the juice filling system right there. So there's your little two post deck right there. I managed to fit a very tiny two millimeter fused Clapton in here. It's a little bit of effort to get a little tiny fused Clapton in here, but if you can, it's just going to take that flavor experience to the next level. So as you can see, it's just two post deck, coil goes in, wicks are going to go into these wick channels right there, and then right underneath the coil, you can see that opening right there. That's where your airflow is going to come in and then straight up at your coils. And what this comes with that you can also do is another center post. So this is the much more mouth to lung center post. It's a fairly painless process to take the 510 pin out of the bottom of this and that's going to free up your post. You just pull your post out, you can put this post in and get a much more restricted mouth to lung vape. You can kind of see the difference right there between the mouth to lung airflow hole and then this much bigger sort of restricted lung airflow hole. I've used both and this does really great as a mouth to lung RTA, but I honestly like the restricted lung hit much, much better. I think that's where this atomizer really shines. So what I'm gonna do right now is just uh, wick it and fill the tank. So yeah, real simple. Cotton just goes in those little holes. And again, what I always like to do is just uh, take my scissors and make a little bit of room. You don't want those completely jammed up with cotton. You can kind of see, I push the cotton to one side on both of them. I'm just gonna take my scissors and kind of press that cotton and just, uh, you know, give it some room to breathe. You don't want those choked with cotton. You wanna see, you know, I don't know, a little bit of uh, holes in there so the juice and the air have somewhere to go. If you just stuff a bunch of cotton in there and clog it all up with cotton. The air's not going to have anywhere to go. The water, the, you know, the liquid's not going to have anywhere to go. So you want to leave a little bit of uh, space. Just give it some breathing room in there. And then we just got to finish it off. Boom, there you go, all built, all wicked, all filled up. Very cool looking tank in my opinion, but what we're gonna do right now is get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this tank. Yeah, just flavor for days. I love, 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 love the restricted lung hit 
of this tank. The airflow is smooth. The airflow, like I said, is restricted and the flavor is just top freaking notch. This is a 0.5 Fuse Clapton single coil in here on a two millimeter. And the great thing about this tank is you don't have to run it at a really high wattage. I've only got it sitting at about 23 watts. There is a little bit of like a ramp up when you do that, but the reward is a very saturated and just flavorful, a very intensely flavorful vape. This is loaded up with Skull and Crossbones from Vigilante Juice Co. It's a juice that I have been vaping for years and years. I love this juice and it tastes just it just tastes delicious in this tank. I am very much on board with a lot of these like restricted airflow, small chamber, just flavor atomizers. It's good. It's so good. It's just so good and satisfying. Overall, I really enjoy this tank. I like the size of it. I like the styling of it. I think it's a very slick looking tank. It is clean and it's not, you know, covered in a bunch of engravings or covered in a bunch of laser etching and or anything like that. There's no real big heavy knurling or anything on it. I, I love like just the clean, clean, like sleek aesthetic of this tank. The top fill system is genuinely one of the easiest top fill systems that I've ever used. It threads off very smoothly. All the threads are very nice and you have a huge little huge little. You have a huge little opening right there. It's huge and little. Two big kidney shaped juice fill holes. There's an o-ring that this just seats on. It's a few turns and it just closes right up. The great thing is even when I fill up this tank, you know, to the top, I can screw this down on there and no juice kind of like pushes itself out of there. I'm never wiping off this tank. It stays very clean. Just refill after refill after refill. I'm not in love with the drip tip that comes with it. It fits in there fine, but it's overall just a little bit on the loose side. Additionally, the hole that you're putting your 510 drip tip on, it's a little bit oddly sized. I haven't found a lot of my own drip tips actually fit in here all that well. Most of my drip tips are too big to fit in here. And you know, that, that's really nitpicky. That's not a deal breaker. It's just something to be aware of. It is also only a two mil juice capacity inside this tank, which uh, it isn't a huge deal for me when you're using it as like a restricted lung hit. You do go through a little bit more juice, not as much juice as say like a, you know, like a big sub ohm tank. And when you're running it in full on mouth to lung mode, you're going to go through even less juice. So I feel like that two mil capacity, eh, it's not, it's not really a big deal. It's not really a big deal to me at least. You take some of those long, slow, smooth drags and you just get that intensely satisfying, saturated, just flavorful vape. The few gripes I have with this aren't necessarily big major deal breakers. Like I said, the drip tip, uh, it could be a little bit better fit and finish in there. It doesn't really stay in there super well. It stays in there while you're vaping it, but if you dropped this, that drip tip would just yard sail out of there. I wish it held in just a little bit better. And I do like the airflow on this, but I don't love the AFC on this. It is damn near impossible to adjust, at least for me, while it's on a mod. When you screw this down on a mod, it puts a little bit of pressure on that AFC ring. And I just, I'm not strong enough. I can't get in there with my fingers to adjust it while it's attached to a mod. If I want to adjust the airflow 10 times out of 10, I have to take this atomizer off of the mod and then go, okay, and then adjust the airflow to where I want it and then reattach it to the mod. Thankfully, that's not something I'm doing very often at all because like I've said already a few times, in this video. I like it as a restricted lung hit and I rock it with the airflow just full open all the time. But if you're an experimenty person and you want to experiment around with different sorts of airflow, maybe rock it at three, maybe put it to two or two and a half, maybe you want to knock it all the way down to one and you want to change those up as you're vaping and experiment around with it, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle because in my experiences, like I said, it's hard to adjust and I have to kind of take it off 
every single time in order to adjust that airflow. So are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this little saver mouth to lung RTA? Uh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from 30 to 35 bucks, which at the risk of repeating myself, that's a pretty low price. That's almost low enough of a price to buy it just to try it out. If you've been wanting something that is mouth to lung that can also convert into a very, very solid restricted lung hit sort of RTA. It, this could honestly be exactly what you're looking for. Now, if we're going to play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape on, no vape gear. Is the Saver RTA something I would seek out and buy? At 35 bucks, getting this high quality of a restricted lung hit vape, and it also does really bang in mouth to lung. Yeah, I, I like this. I have a little bit of hesitation just because of that drip tip thing, and I know that's a really nitpicky thing to do, but I like my drip tips to fit real well, and I like to be able to use multiple different drip tips in here. I've got a drawer full of a few hundred drip tips, and very few of them fit inside here real well. And just one last time before I wrap this all up, the vape quality, the quality of the vape experience that I get from this tank is just stellar. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. That's what I got for today, everybody. I will throw some links over on grimgreen.com if you want to check this out, if you are interested. But yeah, that's what I got. Just a little flavor banger RTA that I'm really loving. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. Vaping.